Good evening. It is a. Uh, I'm losing track. It's a Wednesday night, um, and this is uh, VT Talk with myself, Gary, and Lewis. Say hello, Lewis. Hi there. It's time for VT Talk. And there we are, we're back in the room once again. Um, yeah, this is uh, going to be a little bit different tonight. Um, obviously, Dave has, has been away. Um, he is rolling in agony with um, certain parts of his face hanging out as, as we talk. Um, probably not exactly completely and utterly true, but he does have a, a serious tooth problem. Um, I believe he should have had it taken out today. That's been delayed till tomorrow. Um, so. The thoughts are we're going to sort of try and do a, a, a bit of a, a mix of a VT talk and a Hayes Airy type show. Um, I've got me tonight, uh, Lewis. Say hello, Lewis. Hi there. Um, Lewis is uh, is a, a young, young, I'm going to say young. He's, he's, he's a lot younger than me. Younger, I used, can't even speak tonight. Um, it's hot in the shed again, very hot. It's about 45 degrees in the shed and we're both dying. Um, we are going to do uh, something a little bit different. The reason I've got um, Louis in tonight, Louis is, although he's uh, a vapour, um, I was talking to Louis a little time ago uh, and today I think in the van as well we were having a yep. chat um, we went out to a site together and uh, we were basically I'm going to lose these headphones they're annoying me we, we were basically talking um, about the current situation with the MPs with the MEPs and, and with the proposed sort of medicinal route that, that vaping um, is potentially going to take and I think it's, it's true to say that when I had that chat with Louis in, in the van today although we talked about it in the past it's it sort of it, it's a, a little bit shocking and the reason I say that um, Louis is is not uh, a vapor that visits um, a lot of forums um, I think that's true I don't know yeah, how many true. how many forums have you been on in your time uh, I think I've been on one once browse for probably say 10 minutes but no more than that to be honest okay so Lewis is is realistically one of these um, breeds of, of vapors of vaporers at the moment um, who really doesn't know or potentially you know there's a lot of people like him how many how many people do you know I mean do you know that vape um, we know about five or six people that vape with my, in my sort of group of friends and family so not too many of us but so quite a few and I think yeah. it's, it's fair to say those are the sort of guys that again have not been on any forums I, I think the the story of, of Lewis getting into to vaping is is apparently there was a very handsome and um, debonair type um, bloke who uh, who introduced him uh, to vaping um, is that true I won't go that far Gary <laughs> okay <laughs> so yes it was it was myself um, and uh, and I'm not going to call Louis the cast off kid but he's had quite a fair few of, of, uh, of my mods um, talking through with with Louis how um, particularly he gets his information now I know a lot of it does come from myself um, but you tell me that your your mum basically picks up on a lot of stuff as well. How does that normally work with you? Yeah, so my mum will sort of, if she's reading the newspaper while she's on the train and picks up an advert saying that there was such and such going on. Um, and yeah, she'll sort of give me a rundown, come back from when I finished work and she's finished work, come back and sort of say, oh, I read this in the article, newspaper article today. Um, yeah, and it'll come through like that. And that's how I'll get a lot of my news, a lot of my news about what's going on, apart from obviously through Gary himself. Um, yeah, that's how I get get all my stuff really. So, so I mean, realistically, I know you you do buy from a number of sort of vendors Different that, vendors, that yeah. sort of sponsor the show. Have you actually had um, that you see? Um, I know that a lot of people are saying that the the, the the way to get the message out there is to include um, a certain level of uh, sort of information with, within purchases um, within the packets. I mean, be totally honest with me. How how much attention do you pay to the stuff that that you get? Um, you know through through the door your, your packaging yes I mean obviously when I receive my products um, I, I will have a look inside but sometimes there's not there's not much information in there to be honest um, yeah about anything that's sort of going on there's I can't from what I've seen there's nothing sort of saying that there's big changes that are going on there's stuff that's happening so yeah nothing nothing ma nothing major I mean what, what would it mean what would it mean to yourself if you woke up tomorrow morning mm-hmm and 
the news was out there that that no no more can you get your your liquid can you get your 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 atis, you know all, all the people that you yeah. go to that you buy from yeah. all, all of a sudden are not able to to supply you what would what would that mean to you i'd be absolutely devastated because of I've, I've, I've been vaping for a year and a half now so um yeah it would be absolutely devastating the fact that i obviously couldn't get my products anymore um i would be a bit confused obviously because I, if i just woke up and i hadn't heard anything at all whether it be from listening to the radio or from speaking to anyone else about it and yeah it would be awful <laughs> so i mean realistically what what we're trying to do and and uh, i've explained to you in the past a lot of people now are, are sort of uh, tweeting um uh, and and talking to their mps their meps about the the ban or, or the potential ban that's actually sort of going through at the moment it's gone sort of the the medicinal yeah. route now Rebecca Taylor is is one uh, MP that, that we've been talking to um, quite a bit, and and um, I've got a message through from from Dave to say that a lot of, some of the tweets are um, not sort of really addressing uh, the issues as such. That, that it's more people having a dig, and obviously what, what we're saying is is realistically when we're talking about these things, we, we need to inform the M MPs and, and the MEPs. Um, sort of abusing them is is not going to get us anywhere um, anywhere, you know, fast. Uh, I know, I know that we spoke earlier, and and this earlier. Obviously, you haven't at this moment in time, and and neither have you know your friends because I know yeah. they're in the same boat as you. Yeah. Is is the the sort of the is this something now that that you potentially are going to take forward and and speak to your MP? Yeah, I think obviously it's it's a growing matter that's obviously progressing further into being the fact that it could go medicinal and which would stop us people us good people from getting our products from the vendors that we do buy from regularly so i think it it is something that i will have to start addressing to make sure that i get i can get the products that i need to for the rest of time do you think you'd ever go back to smoking i wouldn't go back to smoking no it, it's horrible even being around the smell of people now that smoke i think is <laughs> disgusting to be honest with you so it, it's changed me completely it has. It's, it's good to know. And I mean, Louis is, is if you like, a prime example. The, the people that we're, that we're sort of, we, we talk to, to the people on the forums, we talk to our audience and, and the people that are sort of listening and watching and, and reading. Um, but those are the people that are actually active, um, active and involved in, in, in the forums, in, in the TV stations, in that. There's, as far as I can see, um, and speaking with Louis a lot today on the subject there there is nothing to, to sort of being done to to capture the, the the people that are out there that aren't the forum members that aren't that now I also sort of spoke to, to Louis about um, the the trade association for you know for vet you know for for the, the consumer yeah. the consumer association mm -hmm. um, pretty much knew nothing about that yeah. but obviously nothing that's to be expected as well because you don't visit the forums what what would be if you like the I'm gonna put it this way what would be the kick up the arse if you didn't know me and if you didn't what would be the big kick that that is is it that you know you have to sit down and and, and open up the paper and see a damn great sort of full page ad full saying page ad. we're taking this away from you yeah um, or or you know a TV thing or what what would what would be the most you know the easiest way to reach people like yourself do you think yeah I mean I think being the newspaper I think would definitely be a good idea because obviously people talk to people um, and if obviously you do you are um, a vapor then people yeah well like I said sorry will uh, talk to you and say that I've read this in the newspaper if you don't particularly read newspapers yourself um, social media networking at the minute is is obviously a big thing so if if there was an advert to get out like that um that would be amazing if you could get that round I suppose that would be a really good way of getting it because I'm always on Facebook myself and so all the other all of my friends that vape as well so I think that would obviously and Twitter as well would be a good idea as long as Facebook so yeah I mean I think a lot of the tweets are sort of they are flying around but they are um, I suppose they're, they're, they're quite hard to pick up if, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not looking for them or, yeah. or in the circle I tell what we're gonna do we're gonna pop into to a little bit of a video um, I'm gonna tease you a little bit um, we'll, we'll see how this goes <laughs> I'll okay. pop back um, after this. Right, well, I'm here on, on VT Talk, um, and I thought I'd better sort of do something along the lines of, of what Mr. Dorm would do um, if he wasn't having his head extra, a, a tooth um, taken out today. 
um, which I hope has, has gone very, very well. Um, I'm going to look at a couple of pets kit that, that landed through the doorstep yesterday and uh, having a, a chance to play with. Now, you've seen this thing here, the little sort of emo kick that, that I've got. Um, but I've got these these sort of tubey things um, that I've got. They're, they're sort of like the... very much like uh, another mod. Um, and you can see it's, it's hot. I've got sticky, grubby fingerprints all over them. These are the uh, the KTS Plus um, Gigi esque mod, shall we say? Uh, these ones here have the ego threaded. Now they've got a flat top, which I like. When I first looked at the, I think it was a KTS, it was ever so slightly domed. This one here, I do much prefer. Now I've got two versions. This one, uh, which I call the, uh, the the Tarts version. Let's just give that. I've got the Tarts version, which is gold plated. I'm pretty damn sure, for about 12 quid, um, that isn't the bestest gold in the world. <laughs> it's probably going to rub off within a week. Uh, but I've got two of these uh, delivered from a certain uh, place in China. Um, and uh, the crying one. Now, to be honest, well, from what I've seen of the build, they're not that bad. Um, Everything works as it should. Um, I'm learning. I'm learning about the, the screwy, adjusty things um, and how to work them. So I may look a complete and utter tit when doing this. But there we go. Different type of show and a learning experience from me. It's like a Meccano set. It, it, it's learning in itself, um, which is which is quite good. I'm going to put this to one side. <clears throat> Now I'm going to attempt to, to sort of go through the paces with how we put different different battery sizes. This is harder than modding, I tell you. Um, I have a few tubes on this. Now I've got a top cap and a middly what's the thing. So I've got a top cap there. I've got a dinnery dingy doodle. I'm using all the technical terms for these. Um, now I could have done the easy thing. I actually read some forum. Uh, stuff about how these actually go together and I've got a ring piece um, that a uh, collar there um, and I have a bottom end here um, and the way that the, the switch mechanism works in this particular mod uh, if I can sort of zoom you down on there um, it has a locking ring nut as you can see here at the moment that isn't going to fire or isn't going to push that pin in, into the middle section there. If I slacken off that nut there, that will allow free travel of this centre pin to move up and down. And essentially what that does, that makes contact with this rim here, um, which is holding the, the battery. So battery on there, and obviously that's making a contact. It's not making a contact with the body of the mod, which is carrying the neg until the pin comes in contact with this middle pin. But that pin there effectively is, is dropping down and touching on that pin. One thing I'll let straight away with these, um, I really don't like the, the springs on this. It is absolutely rock solid. It, there's a lid pin there, there's a load of solder in there. Um, what I may well do is chop this down ever so slightly and put a new spring on. For me it's going to make it a little bit better. That, that isn't going to collapse in, in in a direct short scenario, which I would like it to do, um, used in its sort of mechanical format, um, which I believe is the beauty of something like that. It, it should have a collapse in there. I might put a short one in and see whether it does that far remove it. But uh... right, what I'm going to do is uh, is come back live. Um, obviously, that that video was uh, was chopping and. Uh, hissing and, and popping all over the place. It may well be that my old PC is just not up to the job of uh, of, <laughs> of too much going on at once. It can handle me tinning my tip, but that is probably just about it. Um, obviously back uh, with Louis, what we're gonna do um, is take uh, a few questions um, from the chat, uh, some feedback from Sav. Um, I've got Sav in, in one ear, um, so she's going to feed me some of your questions after this. If you do have a question for either myself or obviously Lewis, um, you know, drop it in chat. We'll get it picked up and uh, and we'll come back to you. I'm going to run our first little ad break and uh, and we'll be back very shortly after this. <laughs>
Weber at iWeber Electric, based in Yorkshire, for your AC needs. That's iWeber.co.uk and iWeber-Elixir.co.uk. iWeber and iWeber-Elixir.co.uk are proud sponsors of VeberTrails.tv. And we are back in the room. Um, it is ever so slightly steamy in the shed tonight. And just to address, I can't remember who said it, but but somebody, uh, you have to excuse this, Louis, because you can't hear what's yeah, going on in my ear rolls. Um, somebody wants to know out there, and I don't know why. For some reason, there's a rumour going around that I don't wear pants. Um, <laughs> they're saying, has Louis got his pants on tonight? I definitely have got my pants on tonight. Good. It's definitely not that sort of a shed party. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know who, who sort of... One of the, one of the things I think um, a lot of people say is um, maybe that there's a common a common sort of... Uh, maybe I didn't put across well enough. Um, Louis most definitely is not a... It'd be like a cigar-like vapour. Um, show him what you're using, Louis. There you go. That's what we've got using at the minute. So he's, he's got his Vamo with, with an AGA on, on the top. Um I've, I've sort of give Louis the AGA and, and you've been playing with that for a thing. What did you say to me earlier today about the uh, about the, the coil? How long yeah. have you had that coil I've in had there? had that coil in there for over a month now, so the coil's been going strong. So yeah. we've changed it. Changed it last night, we changed it. So He's, he's been... Uh, and he's, I think he's been sort of cleaning, twisting, cleaning, following all the all the destructions. And he's, I don't know how he's done it, but he's got a month out of a coil. Um, so <laughs> Amazing. I've been so pleased. Gary said it last me two, three weeks and... A month, absolutely amazing, brilliant. So Louis is, is sort of one of those people who has sort of progressed further. Now your girlfriend vapes, yeah, Millie. Yeah, she vapes. Yeah. What does Millie sort of use? We've got Millie on a Vamo, uh, just using a standard tank. Just yeah, normal that tank. Yeah, as you are there, so they can't see that. And yeah. what about your mates? <laughs> um, yeah, we've got um, one of them's on a, a VV, just the um, the lava tube VV, which is brilliant, and they love that. I've got two of my friends on one of them. Um, Got a few friends that have just started with the basic starter kits from um, can't mind blank. Um, Safe for six. Yeah, from, <laughs> yeah, from Safe for six, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, just just the normal battery ones, and they they they've been brilliant for the guys, and they're sort of looking to upgrade and get on get on with the mods as well. So, yeah. And with 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 obviously, I know this. I find it I find it sort of um, a little bit not confusing but I know that I'd, I've sort of you know, whenever I get something shiny I'd show you it like, yeah, like, like that oh, new thing, toy here. Like yeah. that thing which, which we were sort of talking about and and we've got two this this is me me Tarts Paradise one with, <laughs> with all the, the golden stuff oh, nice cheap little mod um, and I know Louis has been sort of um, drooling and, and looking at, at the this one which I've currently got a uh, 18500 in now I've not really told Louis much about um, about Keith uh, and, and obviously Keith is is a bloke who who does a show with Dave who normally does this show um, and, and basically he, uh, he has deep pockets right um, he will spot a mod and say that's quite nice I'd like to try that now normally the chat will sort of back him and, right. and it's sort of like the backing of, of the chat that that yeah you know that Dave eventually gives in um, I'm probably going to be a bit harder to win over than <laughs> Dave for some reason, because Keith is is an elderly gentleman, and you can afford one. No I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but let's let's take it. So it's sad, it's laughing in my ear. Um, but I'm sure if you if you dribble a bit more, mm -hmm. then then the chat might sort of uh, convince me. Um, did we? I mean, I've got Sav in one ear. Did we have any uh, any other questions in there, Sav? Okay, so one of the questions, Louis, yes. is realistically, what's what's your what's your poison? What do you what do you put in your tank? Um, loving the Vermilion River at the minute. I am actually on um, RY4, which I've which I've got in there today. But um, the Vermilion River um, stuff has been absolutely brilliant. I've tried many that you've given me a few samples, and I've sort of gone out and bought um, the 
Cinnamon one, I think, was one of the ones yeah. that I liked in the minute. Don't, don't talk good. to Sam about cinnamon. Oh, she, sorry. Sam, no, Sam <laughs> does like a cinnamon, a hot cinnamon menthol thing. Okay. Yeah, and it makes Davey normally does this fart quite a lot. Um, <laughs> but 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 you want to hear it, Jesus. <laughs> but what strength do you normally vote? Um, twenty-four mil. Twenty-four. So there we go. He's, he's on a twenty-four. He's so. Uh, question from me. I mean, because I'm finding this sort of interesting myself as well. Yeah, if, if you don't, if you don't go on the forums, yeah. and and you don't sort of. Do you, how do you do? You just browse. Do yeah, you know what I mean, just browse. Um, I sort of go and buy sort of the smaller ones for like it. I get the bigger ones if I can. Um, sort of pass it around my friends, and if sort of we'll have a swap round, do a little swap. They'll buy one. I'll give them one that I don't necessarily like as much. Try one of theirs, and we just sort of circulate, and then we all worked out from there what we kind of like, and then we'll try some other stuff so, so it's, it's pretty much I mean it's pretty much like the the the. It, it's like an online they, they've got their own mini little forum going yeah. with, with the trades and <laughs> the swaps it. and this that, and the other it, I know that, that you, you've you seen what we've got in here yeah. and, and actually me my my new fluke is, is, uh, is actually is my what, <laughs> is actually Lewis fluke but we, we did a trade, did a for, trade. for my clamp meter because um, he, uh, he needed it needed out on the it. field a lot more than yeah, and Gary needed. If I just explain, Louis, Louis, basically, me and Louis work at the the, the same company. Yeah, I manage all the the office, and and Louis is is. I'm going to assume he managed the. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give him. <laughs> I'm going to give him a big head. Now. Louis, Louis, one of our, if you like, better engineers out there in the field. I hope none of them are watching because I'm going to die. Um, so so he's out there in the van, and I I know for a fact that the the our our director, our boss. Um, he was always trying to. He, he hates obviously the guys smoking in the vans. Yeah. I know they never did legally. No, of <laughs> no, course not. You know no, what I mean. Never. But um, you know there was the odd occasional whiff of, of a bit of tobacco going on in, in there yeah, somewhere. Way um, back when. <laughs> but obviously he's he's a lot more pleased now. Now definitely the, guys the boss are is happy. He's off my back as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And <laughs> <laughs> um, all that sort of stuff. So I mean, realistically, that 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 is it's it's almost like a. a mini like a mini forum you, you've hmm. created your own sort of user group this that, and the yeah. other now i know we've we've also spoke about um coming down to vape fest and you're thinking yes, of getting definitely. a few people down yeah. to, to vape fest yeah, there'll be a few of us down there yeah which yeah. would be lovely yeah nice to sort of see something different actually go and get involved with the guys that are doing it apart from just yourself yeah i mean i think i think there's going to be a fair few thousand there yeah so and there's <laughs> going to be lots of sort of goodies and this and the other to try and and all that sort of stuff um sav can make can sav make gd go red um I've just picked that one up. I don't I've got a clue what they're talking about. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's going to be impossible. Um, I think there's there's only there, I'm going to tell Louis there's there's only one lady in vaping that can actually make me blush, um, and and that's a lady called Catherine. Um, for some reason, she thinks I've got hot thighs. Um, I don't know why that is. You know, I'm, she, she, no, don't agree with me, for Christ's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Say have, nothing. <laughs> have we got any any anything else that they want to know? Okay, that's a good point because I I, I know you guys can't hear Sav, um, but but uh, somebody asked about a, a, a decent mod to make the KTS perform um, better. Now. Uh, a lot of people, um, and when I got this through, um, a lot of people were saying uh, that, that the contacts aren't that great on it, this, that, and the other. Um, the uh, you're better off to sort of sand down um, the, the the positive end back to brass and the spring. Now, when I've looked at that mod, and obviously we're not we're not going into a modding show, Louis. No, um, but but that basically, <laughs> on on the spring end, the one thing I looked at as well, and I, I was talking about in that video, I think the springs on these are are incredibly hard for some reason and, and I'm gonna look at chopping um, my sort of uh, tail end down ever so slightly and putting a, a new spring on um, because they they do seem to be in, incredibly stiff on on the springs uh, that end for some reason what I've also got in the other one um, which we may try once this stream settles down I may try and play in that other vid um, see how it goes because I did also get um, and it was one of the things I wanted to look at and review and I I was going to show Louis a little bit later. See if I can make him drool um, a little bit more. A little bit more. Um, <laughs> was was uh, uh, I'm not going to call it. It's it's the smock. Uh, I'm going to call it kicker like. Um, basically, it's a kick clone. Um, I've not fully tested it yet, but it really, really does. Sort of. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to get Louis tank in a minute. I'm going to regret doing this. 
Stick your tank on there, Lou. Give us a blast. Oh, no, there's that. no kick in that one. It fits perfectly. It well. fits perfect, does it? You can forget it, boy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's just on a 14500 battery. No, it's not. It's on a. Oh, it's on a 18500 battery. It's probably not as good as the the VV, is it? Not quite. No, but it's up there. So you know what that will teach you to do. You don't need the the to have all your VV. You talk to to some of the guys here. If if you you coil that to uh, to the doodah to a slightly smaller coil, yeah, will be. And in. you can get you know he's he's uh, for some reason he's kept his um, tank on there, so. Um, yeah. I stay and put. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll put over here. <laughs> I'm not commenting on that. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got a top pocket, but he's stuck at the other side of the bloody bench. Uh, let me just have a look. I know, sorry, this is going to be a little bit confusing, guys, because um, I'm having to take uh, some of the questions from Sav Varmy yeah, I can't really see what's going on. Sav, hit me quickly. <laughs> Okay, that's a very good question. And I know nobody else heard that other than me, and I'm sitting here looking like everybody should know what the hell Sav just <laughs> said to me. Um, right, what they're saying is basically, mm -hmm. and I, I don't agree with the first part of this comment, right. apparently you're a real hip, trendy bloke. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll go with yeah, that. Yeah, we'll go with that. Um, <laughs> and, and they're saying, basically, what, what sort of reaction do you get when you stand in a club and get your big thing out? Um... It can it can be awkward. It can be awkward. Um, I can imagine. I've had a few, yeah. <laughs> especially the size of it. Um, <laughs> we do get a few strange comments, uh, especially when you're in the middle of a club and you get a few pissed people going, "What the hell's that? It looks like a bong or something." And you're like, "Oh right, yeah, it's going for like whatever." And then you sort of explain it to them what it is, and then they just sort of switch off about halfway through. But that's that's the the nature of some people. Um, but yeah, otherwise, sort of been a few people that have. Sort of questioned it on the door, let me get in and stuff like that. But um, generally, we've managed to get our way through, explain it, end up taking the whole thing apart and rebuilding it again in front of them. Um, but yeah, see, and this is this is this is what I know. I I I and I think most of us tend to live in this this little bubble um, that that there is nobody outside of of the 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 the, the, the forums and and the, the vaping communities that actually are doing this. Um, and that are out there and that are showing people what we do without us sort of knowing about it. Um, and I, I think it's, it's quite useful to have somebody here outside of that bubble um, and, and to know that the message is is sort of getting across. So uh, what sort of reaction do you get from the bouncers? Um, very mixed variety. Some some of that have seen them before um, got in one situation once where they said, we're going to take it off you, but they said, we'll hold it for you. So um, I actually hold it at the end of the night and I went back there and the bloke spent about half an hour trying to find it again and he pulled out all the little tiny cigarette looking like he ones and, and I was like, it's not that one. Explained it to him, it's this big, so and so and all that and he still didn't get it and eventually I ended up going around the back and searching for all the stuff and found it myself. So You should have said that. Different. Mine's the biggest one in the box. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That would have been the easiest that, that one. That would have been the easiest one, yeah, that's true. Have we got anything else, Ev? Good question. I'll probably decide on Saturday morning. Um, I think it may well be the pipe. Do you know, sorry, I'm talking to you, Sav, and, and I haven't got a bleeding clue. I keep forgetting that the people can't eat. Sav, Sav has just asked me, this is getting confusing, um, what mod I'm going to look at next week. It will be the pipe, very much likely. What I'm going to do, I'm going to try and run our video again, Sav, because I need to open the door. We are melting in here. I'm going to see if it'll work. Give us a five minute break and uh, and we'll come here if it doesn't play right so we're back again and, and hopefully um hopefully i'm i'm not doing uh too bad a job this week um if i'm filling in for dave um i'm I may be filming this for nothing um and if i am it's is is very very good because uh, obviously mr dorm has 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 not needed the uh, the tooth extraction he he so desperately desired um but I'm going to look at this. Uh, I spoke briefly with Dave about this um, last week. This is the, I believe it's the Smock 
um, the smock, it's not called a kick, um, I don't know what it's called to be honest with you, it was a uh, an impulse buy, um, 15 quid, um, and if you're looking at that, you can probably see it looks a bit white around the board, um, and there's very good reason for that, I had to sand the buggery out of it, because these two boards just didn't line up, um, they wouldn't slide in. Um, the mod, so I, I really had to sort of take a lot of this uh, surrounding stuff off um, for it to for it to fit in. I haven't highlighted it to the vendor. It, it's something you know. Maybe I should have done. Maybe I will do. If you're watching this, you now know. Um, there are a couple of flaws that I can see um, with this mod, and and flaws that were ironed out with the original version of the kick, um, which. You know, let's be honest, it's a direct damn clone of it. Um, the fixed centre pin, um, you know, the new version has a spring on, which makes a huge, huge, huge difference on, on the actual original kick. Um, I couldn't, couldn't get this for love nor money to fit into quite a few mods purely because of this um, raised thing. Uh, particularly um, the mods that I bought it for, which were the the telescope mods, um, and I thought those would be you know a nice a nice way to uh, to sort of this in the telescope mod is a nice cheap variable wattage unit. Um, so yes, I had to do a lot a lot of sanding, a lot of work uh, to to get it to to fit, um, and obviously that could have uh, rendered it completely useless and voided any warranty that I did have um, but we took a punt and did it anyway which brings me on to showing you um, how that works um, in my little telescope mod now even with the sanding and, and the doofering and this that and the other you'll be able to see um, just how a tight fit this is you know, I just relieved the top cap on my chrome version uh, just one thing to point out: this does have the inner threading on the 510 connection. There's no threading on on the on the outside. Um, so I'm assuming, not being a, a sort of a ego e type, Carto e type person user, um, that may restrict you on some of the Cartos out there, particularly the ones that don't have an inner thread. I would have thought. Um, I've already got an 18500 battery down in here. Um, now you see what I mean about how tight this is. It is extremely, extremely tight. Now, I've, I've made it that tight for a reason, and that reason is it wouldn't bleed and fit. Um, and I've, I've taken the minimum I have to off to make it fit. Uh, actually, a bit of that, so I get some more top cap on. Another thing I like about these sort of telescoping mods, you have to excuse the light going in now. I've got um, limited light today, and uh, I'm trying to do it by natural sunlight, which is failing me fast. Um, so yes, there it is, with our imitation kick installed. Let me plonk an anti on the top. Now I've got this set to about eight, nine watts, I think. Firing away nicely. You see, it don't half. You know, it's not bad at all. With that flat top and the, the tank on, I'm liking that, to be honest. Same locking button on this one. And a lot more like it for me. That's the sweet spot. So this is really why I bought that, to have it in this sort of combination. Um, what did that cost me? Now, the mod, including shipping, was sort of about 10, 12 quid. And 15 quid for the, I'm going to call it a vari variable wattage chip. Um, because it's nowhere near as good as the original um, version of that. I've yet to put that chip through through some tests where I test it for direct shorts um, and this and the other. Um, but this is if you like my initial impressions on 
on that particular unit. Um, so yes, the ATS bus and a, uh, a Spark variable wattage chip. Now to be honest, it don't have a form, I tell you. Um, 25 quid. Not the best build quality in the world. Needs a lot of jewelry pokery and probably sanding and this and the other and the spring isn't that great on it and da 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 da. All the sort of stuff that has been perfected in the, you know, your handmade jobs. Um, but I just wanted to give it a blast, uh, give it a go, see what it was like. Um, I've never had, if you like, the original version of, of this baby. And to be honest, if anything, it sort of made me think that one of those might be rather nice um, at some point in time and when funds allow. Because I like the feel of that, I like the button placement. Um, so... As, as a good sort of, if you like, bridge to having something like that and maybe buying something that's a bit more built for a battering, if you know what I mean. Um, I'll see. I don't know whether this is going to stand the test of time. I know for a fact that the Crohn's is going to probably rub off that and the gold is most definitely going to go on this one. I'm um, probably within about a week. But I don't know. I'll, I'll report back and see how they go. But... Uh, a little bit of film, hopefully, to uh, to allow me a, a breather somewhere um, within what is um, VT Talk. And we're back in the room. I've just done a temperature reading. It's warm in the shed. I do now have... a bag... Of frozen fries that has saved us, saved us in the Juanas. <laughs> and Betty is definitely going away. I tell you, it's it's ever so slightly warm in the shed. We've opened the door. Uh, I think we were both to the point of near Nearly passing out. Yeah, we were. Yeah. And close. the last thing I would want is for my wife to walk in in the morning and find me asleep on the floor with Louis. It probably <laughs> wouldn't go down too well. Um, but we we got to do tomorrow, haven't we? We have got to do tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, we've got a, a work to do. Too, yeah, we're, we're, we've finished our contract um, with uh, Hayes Recruitment, and uh, and they've been very nice and taking us all out for a, for a sort of a after contract bash. Yeah, that's right. So uh, they said pick top, use the top five um, staff to take. Obviously, I was the first one. Obviously, Louis <laughs> was was first to go, um, and then the director went, and then a young lady in in the office, um, and and then someone else, and and then it was sort of like. Would you like to go, Gary? Is that, thank you very much. Yes, I would. You bastards. Um, <laughs> sorry. <no. laughs> but yeah, well, it's it's fun. I don't. I don't. I doubt whether there'll be. I don't know how the guys at Hayes would would take um, me pulling out me big long one and and no. sort of blowing that around. Blowing it around. No, uh, probably not. Not we'll too. We'll stick together. <laughs> we'll stick. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to pop outside for a sneaky one. I think. Yeah. Um, some of the guys are saying, obviously, uh, you know, when you're how. When, when you're looking for a mod or when you're going on a website or mm -hmm. when you're going on this and let's just say for example you've not seen any any reviews or this uh, it, no, do you watch reviews do you actually watch any of the reviews I, I have watched a few reviews um obviously when I got my tank there yeah. I had I, I had to watch because there was no way that I was gonna ever work out how to, to coil it as, as good as your explanation was yeah I had to go and watch a video and find out yeah and obviously I watched a review of it first. Um, see what they sort of thought, um, and then yeah, when I watched, sort of see how to piece it together. Yeah. Um, watched a few other reviews on a few things that I was thinking of getting. Um, some of them which changed my mind. Um, obviously the Vamo stuck out for me because it was sort of one of the cheaper end of the mods, but was sort of the best sort of value for money that I thought I could find at the time. So, yeah, and a few. I'm trying to think of what other ones I'd looked at. Um. To name specifically, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. What What would be if if you know like you you and your mates? Mm -hmm. um, because this I know this is one discussion that we have a lot. Is is the obviously this this thing that you seem to have adopted yeah. um, over there? The, the KTTS. Yes, yeah. yeah, so it's staying over there. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the KTTS. Um, I think I don't know. I might have to put it to chat. If if Louis might be allowed to to borrow borrow it for a while. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I reckon he has gone out and he's watched the Haze Hour before he come on tonight. Um, I, I did mention Keith, and and you know he's he, he's fitting, he's done that within half an hour. The cheeky bugger. Um, quite good though, Lou. Must must impress. But these these things here, 
I'm not. I mean, they're they're cheap as chips. Mm-hmm. They they come from China. They're made by Gok Wan in his factory in Bangkok <laughs> somewhere. Um, I think. Um, I haven't got a clue where they're made or, or. But obviously, this this is pretty much a clone of um, some. Have you heard of the? I know I spoke to you a little bit about them, the, the like the GG, TS. It was mentioned. Though. I did say that I had heard of it, but that was probably about as far as it went. I think. So. I mean, those are to put it in perspective, probably about. I don't know. Uh, sorry, I need to have that. A couple of hundred quid. About a hundred and fifty quid. What would be your sort of? Would you spend? And and seriously, I know because this yeah, is yeah. this is where you get the other bit. You get if you like the the collect these chips are freezing my. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like I have no feeling in my gingos at the moment. Um, sorry. Too much, um, but yeah, with with something like that, I don't mm. know how much you know. What would be your what's your when you look at it? What's your top end, and what would you expect if 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 I said to you, "Is fifty quid?" Mm. We you know, well, I'm not going to before no, no. you go there, right? <laughs> oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> what, what would you what would you sort of what, what would what drives you in buying a mod? I mean, making sure that it ticks all the right boxes, um, making sure it's obviously the build quality is good. Um, if it is something that is. Um, got a board in it to make sure that obviously the battery life's not going to be horrendous and it's not going to the board's not going to drain all the power out of it um as long as it lasts me throughout the whole day then that's that's good for me um being able to change it every now and then is good because i do like once i go out for a drink crank it up a little bit get a little bit more out of them which is sort of yeah the way i like to do it personally yeah. um so yeah that sort of thing. Yeah, that sort of thing. Somewhere yeah. around, around there. Yeah, I mean, so you're, you're, if you like, you've got, you've al- almost grown up with the, yeah, the. Sorry, I've got a mid chips. <laughs> Woo! <sighs> I've got McNuggets. <laughs> um, <laughs> pretty much. Sorry, sir. Got my cane um, balls. Yeah, it's, yeah it's, I've, I've, I've lost Lefty. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to bed tonight. Stick it on the wife. No, I'm not gonna. Um, no. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> this this could all go drastically wrong, couldn't it? Uh, back on back, track. Back on track. Um, so yeah, I mean that's. <laughs> <laughs> it's phony. It's the heat. It really is the heat. Um, it does strange things to me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. How I look. <laughs> so the other things that I've been I've been speaking to Lee about, which I've been trying to sort of um, guide him, not guide him, but show him. I'm gonna point I'm him gonna, in the right direction. Point him in the right direction now. I'm I'm gonna give you that. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> and you're gonna say What is it? Yes. Apparently <laughs> now right. apparently this is the latest fangled doodah what's it for your wick. This is a, a stainless steel Right stuff. Wicked. I'm being technical. You know about yeah. as technical as I get. Yeah. Apparently this stuff and, and if you ask Dave Dorm that wicks for Britain, apparently, and and you know okay. like you you make your one with yep. the with yeah, the, the mesh, mesh now. Sh- apparently, you you need to clean this and boil it and stuff because okay. there might be some. But then it all nice and shiny. Yep. Um, and and apparently oh. you cut that up to roughly where you'd cut your wick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You wrap a tiny bit of mesh around the top, just so you don't get the short on on the coil. Yeah. Okay. Obviously oxidized the same mm-hmm. way. Yeah. yeah sure. And apparently that wicks for fun. Brilliant. Lots of wicking. Yeah. Now, as you can see, I've Let's got quite a lot of that stuff over there. You have got a fair Because one right? of our very kind viewers um, sent me quite a lot uh, to send one of these out if people want it with the uh, the children in need tips that, that we're making. Uh, so you can have that, Louis. Brilliant. I'll get a tip as well. You, no, you don't get a tip. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's pushing it. Through, isn't it? That's what we're going to do. Let's right. slip into a second little air break. Now, unfortunately, the, the second little air break is the same as the first little air break um, because I'm a donkey and managed to got a video uh, so uh, unfortunately I do apologise for our very fine advertisers who, who should be in this next little section but you're not we'll be back after this
by Weber and I Weber Election in Yorkshire for your AC games. That's iweber.co.uk and iweber-election.co.uk. I Weber and I Weber-election.co.uk are proud sponsors of WeberTrust.tv. We are back in the room once again, and uh, I have noticed um, a few people in chat are commenting on my liking of wood. Um, yeah, this 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 is shed one, um, and next door is shed Two. B, um, and next door from that is shed three. Um, yeah, we, we, there's there's a few. Um, that shed is is actually uh, sort of like a lean to y type thing um, for the wife. Um, she wanted a kitchen. We built her a shed. Um, it was cheaper than the kitchen. Um, she likes it. She she's you know she's got a washing machine in it and stuff. Um, yeah, that's all she's getting. Um, I, I'm not building. I, I point blank refused to build a kitchen. Um, I've still got to paint the shed. Um, end of story. Um, going back to a a bit of a bit of vaping. Now Louis was. Where have you just been? You've been away on holiday, haven't you? Yeah, I've been to. I uh, went to Lorette de Mar for a week, and then we jetted from Lorette de Mar off to Alcudia. There we go. Jetted. 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 I say jetted, but it was about fifteen minutes. On about the fifteen minutes. <laughs> well, how, how did you how did you find sort of going through customs and stuff like that? Did you have any any problems when you were there? Um, we went through. We were going to put them in our in the hold. Um, then we both, me and my other half, both forgot to put them in our hold, so we ended up with them in our luggage. Fine, mm-hmm. didn't have any problems at all. Uh, and then I thought, just in, on the way through, we did put them in the hold. Um, they were fine and then on the way back we put them in the hold as well and mine decided it was going to spill its guts everywhere and um, I ended yeah. up with luckily I put it in a bag so good idea in a sandwich bag so it won't ruin all your clothes so what he's trying to say is when he got back his mankini was in fact covered in juice um, which is pretty yes. much a story that was going around the office um, <laughs> <laughs> and we're not going to tell you what else came out of that um, <laughs> So basically, you, you're when you're away. Uh, were there? Because obviously, the, the first one you went on was like uh, the he, he did two weeks. Um, I think the first one was the the, the club, the yeah, one that would kill the, me. The party week, yeah, um, that was it. And and how did that? I mean, in the clubs and stuff. Did you see? Were, were there any of the the sort of the these type of, of look no, you like? No, we didn't. The, we any? didn't see anyone floating around the clubs. There was a few people that we did see uh, walking around. Sort of around by the beach, sort of smoking them. Um, first, all sort of like, oh, huh, okay, sort of like, but they were the sort of small electric, uh, the cigarette style ones. Um, yeah, and didn't obviously there were Spanish people, so I didn't have a clue. And um, we did bump into, uh, we had to pop into the pharmacy to pick up some plasters because uh, we did have a minor injury, and um, and we did see that they had on the shelf marked up at uh, thirty nine ninety five euros for the cigarette style one, and I was shocked. I might have even taken a picture of it somewhere but <laughs> what brand was it no idea was spanish it? brand it was was it spanish was yeah. it all, all done up in the spanish mm. stuff yeah so, so it's probably the uh, the spanish e-lights or something something like that yeah, yeah. A bit larger box or that sort of size so, was it? yeah it's quite a big box for not a lot of kit by the looks of it so <laughs> trying to so, make it look fresh you've got to so if you're going to spend that much money on something that's probably not all that good then you want a big box don't you so he's, he's definitely been educated i think as louis um but it, it, it say I think a lot of people in in chat are sort of finding it relatively. I hope they are finding it relatively sort of interesting to to have a a, a point of view outside of of our usual. What I, I'm going to call it a bubble for for tonight, um, because I think I think it might scare you to death. <laughs> Not scare, you, but that, that, some of the, some of the comments in chat they're saying don't scare. Louis off we're not all complete nutters um, no, it's true most of them are <laughs> right, but okay. not all of them um, but there, there, there is obviously I've, I've shown you stuff on, on the forums before mm. where I've said yeah Louis have a look at this and, mm-hmm. and I've minimised the dwarf porn and show you yeah. a new mod or something yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it, as I say there, there's quite a lot uh, uh, that way do, have any of your you know has anybody ever said to you like your mates and this and the other do, do, do you get that bloody hell look at what's on on no, I haven't, I haven't really. We sort of all, I mean, we sort of just use the vendors that we do and we just sort of browse around the vendors and see from there. I mean, there's not, um, I don't remember. There obviously are adverts for the um, 
forums and stuff. I, can't, I don't remember actually bumping into any and going, oh, I must have a look at that. Sort of See, I, I've, like got, that, so. I've got a question that I've really got to, to, yeah. to ask you because I think this is... This, I love this one. <laughs> have uh, you ever joined a list? A list? No. See, I love that. That that that's brilliant. <laughs> that confused look. What the? It's a list. <laughs> what kind of list? <laughs> what is it? See, basically, what happens in 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 the right? Okay, somebody will say on a forum. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm going to sell this. Okay, right. I'm not knocking it by the way. Um, you know, uh, okay, like my my tip. My yeah. tips are a prime example. Have you seen yeah. my tip? I've seen one of your tips. I know what a few of your tips. Basically, what they do is oh. is is they go, okay, I've got this for sale. Yeah. And guaranteed, within about ten seconds' time, there is this list that is that is, form you know, Gary Formative. plus one, Louis plus one, right. do that right. And the poor bloke who's doing it hasn't even announced he's selling them yet. Yeah. So Look at this. <laughs> yeah. like it is. Right. It's uh, so so. I'm going to have to introduce Louis. We're going to get him on a on a list at some point. Um, I have just lost Sav in Skype. I haven't got a clue where she went, but apparently Skype has stopped working. Um, I'll try. It. Hopefully, it may well come back um, because she was sort of talking in my ear, um, uh, but hasn't you know, stopped now. She stopped. She stopped. She's gone. Um, if I don't get her back, it has, it's been lovely. I do apologise that we haven't managed to sort of have Sav live, um, or not live with us tonight. She could have sat between us somewhere up there, couldn't she? Yeah. On on the wall. That was the plan. Um, but yeah, we've, we've the lost wall. her. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, I've got to move these chips, Louis. They are. You, know, yeah. you, have, you have a go. There we go. Yeah. We're sharing chips now. They're, my wife's going to go and get them tomorrow. And it's, <laughs> yeah, it's Sugi Mushi oh, the yeah, that's of, it. Yeah. In, the, in the bottom of the thing. Um, apparently, we've been invited to, to, to join Vapors um, Unite. I, okay. I, I, I'm assuming. I, is, that, is that a, um, a face? Uh, somebody, somebody tell me in, in chat is, is Vapors Unite? Is, I, th- I think that's a, a Facebook group, isn't it? Um, something like that. If, if you can let me know, that would be great. Um, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm definitely going to. I think um, I was talking to you sort of uh, earlier. Um, Dave is is actually Dave who normally runs this show, and I will say a damn sight better. Yeah. Than me, um, Dave. Dave is going away. He normally goes away for a uh, a month. Lucky uh, A month in, in in August. He goes over to Tenerife. Um, lucky man. Lucky man. Very lucky yeah, man. Very lucky. Yeah. Man. I wish I could get a month off. Right? A yeah. month off. We won't no go chance. into that There's one. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> you could be a long time. <laughs> There's no way you're in a month off. But yeah, they, he normally does this, and and I think he's he's going to be away. So hopefully, um, we were sort of saying uh, if if the if the guys will. Um, will sort of uh, have have me uh, and you back. Would I think? Would would you be up for coming Definitely. back to, to covering a couple of yeah, shows? Come back to cover a few shows for you. So if if Louis, uh, you know, if Louis does that, we we may do it. Well, I may need to, to try and sort something out a little bit, um, a little bit more with with the setup. With the with the, I think my processor is sort of um, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, but when it's it's only a about 50 odd percent so it's, it's not that bad we may well uh, hopefully if, if we do this again um, I don't know how we're interested Millie would be to to come down and have a chat or maybe one of your other mates yeah. as long as they're not going to nick no. a gnome or something and no. hold it to ransom that would no. be fine um, <laughs> we're all good. I'll tell you what I'm going to do uh, I'm, I'm going to uh, put a quick vote um, to chat because Louis does seem to have, uh, have collared um, my he's still over that side of the bench um, I'm going to put it to chat if you think Louis should uh, should take home um, take home uh, a KTS Plus, he's not having me gold one, but he can have the chrome one. What do you reckon? You, you, can tell, you can tell me what they're coming out with, Louis. I, I think I already know the answer. Yes, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Thanks. There we go. Looks like you've lost that, Gary. Yes, Plus Infinity. We like that one. Yeah. So there we go. Thank you. Oh, and a tip or two. There and, we go. And See a that tip one. Or two. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, b- before we go. Yes. Have you ever tried a nose hit? No. Well, I don't know what a nose hit is. I'm assuming I haven't. But. Yeah. It it's not where you sort of go. It's not that. Right. Okay. Because that would just be disgusting. <laughs> um, it is. It's literally a. Oh, bloody hell. Don't do that. <laughs> it's, All right, I'll remember that for in case anyone ever asked me to do a, it's, a fake nose hit. I, I better clean that tip first. Yeah, I would, good idea. In your mouth. Mm-hmm. And out your nose. Without inhaling. So, 
In your mouth. Yeah, okay, yeah, we'll go with that, yeah. That's through nose. Mm-hmm. We've got to do this at the same time. By the way, it should be at 12 watts. <laughs> I'm having problems. I've got it in 99 volts. Uh, 99 ohms. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. His coil's oh, my, gone. My coil's His coil's gone. 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 It's died. Amateur. <laughs> I nearly know it, Dave. <laughs> hey, it comes in the shed and it kills the coil. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it, uh, 50, 15 watts is the thing. If we can get it going, next time you're on, Louis, Louis will be doing uh, the 15. Definitely. No, I'm stitching him right up now. Um, yeah, I'll pass me one of yours. I'll put me two on it. There you go. There we go. Whatever we go. I don't want to let the viewers down. He's going to do it. So in, in through the mouth. No inhale. Out through the nose. I can't see what the problem is personally. I don't know. There we go. It's all good. I may have even told you to do it completely. He's got the other one. You can keep, you know, in that one. You keep. <laughs> right, with all that, guys. Free take. Uh, it's, it's been very, very nice to, to have um, Louis in the shed tonight. Hopefully, uh, if you want him back, um, I'm sure he'd be more than happy to, uh, to come back again. Um, we may well sort of uh, go below mounting point at the next one and we'll try and get some sort of air con because we were both nearly passing out. Um, I would like to thank um, McKay's um, for the uh, refreshment in, in the paint department. <laughs> Tonight, um, I'd like to thank Sav and obviously wishing um, Dave Dorm all the best uh, for tomorrow. Um, I'm going to play out with uh, with the intro because that's all I have. Um, thank you very much. Good night, guys. Good night.